castle in Burgundy. Princess of Wales was purple Amelia Wickstead coat dress with matching hat and Diana's Collingwood earrings to greet South African president. Kate alongside her husband Prince William, is playing a key role in the visit, greeting Mr. Ramaphosa, before they travel to Horse Guards Parade to view a welcoming ceremony with the King and Queen Consort. The royal mother of three was elegant as she welcomed Mr. Ramaphosa today, donning the smart burgundy coat dress with a matching Sean Barrett hat and a £495 mulberry bag. She paired the look with her £560 John Vito Rossi pumps. Meanwhile she paid subtle tribute to her mother-in-law with the outfit, wearing pearl earrings that were gifted to Diana before her wedding to Charles in 1981. During the event, the princess swept her brunette locks behind her shoulder in her favorite bouncy blow-dry style. Meanwhile she opted for neutral makeup for the occasion, wearing a sweep of dark eyeliner and a nude lipstick. Kate has long been a fan of Amelia Wickstead dresses and worn them on dozens of occasions. She also pinned the Princess of Wales feather brooch to her chest, which was given to Diana by the Queen Mother upon her engagement to Prince Charles. This morning, Charles III welcomed South African President Cyril Ramaphosa to the Royal Pavilion on Horse Guards Parade as he holds his first state visit as monarch. The King, joined by the Queen Consort, will make presentations to the President as the South African National Anthem is played and the Guard of Honor gives a royal salute. The President, accompanied by the King, will inspect the Guard of Honor, found by No. 7 Company Coldstream Guards. Afterwards, the President will join Charles and Camilla, as well as the Prince and Princess of Wales, for a carriage procession along the Mall to Buckingham Palace, where they will be met by a second guard of honor found by 1st Battalion Coldstream Guards. Following a private lunch at Buckingham Palace, the King will invite Mr. Ramaphosa to view an exhibition in the picture gallery of items from the Royal Collection relating to South Africa. In the afternoon, the President will visit Westminster Abbey, where he will lay a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Warrior, before taking a tour which will include the memorial stone for Nelson Mandela, the South African president between 1994 and 1999. Mr. Ramaphosa will then visit the Palace of Westminster, where he will be welcomed by the Speaker of the House of Commons and the Lord Speaker, before delivering an address in the Royal Gallery to MPs and other guests. In the evening, Charles, Camilla and other members of the Royal Family will give a state banquet at Buckingham Palace for the President, who will join the King in making speeches at the start of the meal.